Okay, my name is Parusha. I'm working here as a school psychologist. Today, my presentation topic is DPRD Cognitive Development Theory. Firstly, I want to uh, give you a brief description about Jane Piaget, who was Jane Piaget. He was a Swiss psychologist and he born in 1896. He has a lot of contribution in the education sector. Um, he was a director of International Education Bureau of Education, where he declared that only education can be only education capable to save our society from collapse. Um, he was interested in child intelligence. Uh, that how the child intelligence is different from adult. So he was studying his uh, children intelligence from infancy and while he was studying, uh, he gave us a theory about cognitive development. Jane Theology Cognitive Development Theory has four stages where every child goes through. Um, first stage is called sensory motor stage which start from birth to two years. In this stage, a child began to, begin to develop reflexes hand and eye coordination, uh, habits. A child interact with environment through their uh, reflexes and physical movement, physical action. Uh, object permanence phenomenon is also present in this stage. Object permanence means a child understood that if a things ha uh, hide from him, he understood that the things are still present. This is called object permanence. Um, in this stage, an experimentation and creativity, creativity occurs because a child learns through practice, um, practice trial and error experimentations. So Piaget referred this type of stage child as a little scientist. The second stage is called pre-operational stage. We start from two to seven years. In this stage, the child begins to develop a language skill, um, imagination. Uh, in this stage, a child uh, represents objects with images and words. Children learn through imitation. They imitate their teachers and their parents because the teacher and parents are their role model. So they imitate them and they learn from their, uh, their behavior. Uh, in this um, stage, a child, um, there is an egocentricism in this uh, state. Egocentricism means a child can't understand other uh, views, other feelings, other uh, point of view, they just think about their self. There is a concept about I instead of we in this stage. And there is absences of conservation. Conservative means um, when a child understands that the physical quantity remains the same even after the appearance is changed. So there is absences of their conservative ability. Uh, third stage is Okay. In second stage, a child began uh, reasoning, but their reasoning are, but they, they, these reasoning are, they, there is no any logical reasoning in this stage. <coughs> they began reasoning, but there is no any logical reasoning, because there is absent of logical thinking. Okay. In third stage, third stage is a complete operational stage, which we can we start from 7 to 12 years. Uh, in this stage, a child began to develop uh, the fundamental of logic, they have ability to sort out the object, they have ability to classify the object. Uh, in this uh, stage, the child understand about the conservative concept. They understand, understood about the conservation of uh, liquid, conservation of area, conservation of mass, <laughs> conservation of weight. In fourth stage, fourth stage is called formal operational stage. Uh, this stage begins from 11 to uh, idle and onward. In this stage, a child begins to develop the ability to think in systematic way, think logically, think abstractly. They can solve their problem, they can take a decision. In this stage, the cognition and intelligence uh, completed. But um, these stages are not enough for cognitive development. There are some factors which also influence on our, uh, our cognition. Those factors are our environmental factors and genetic health factors. If a child didn't get a healthy environment, or if there is some abnormality in their genes, a child can't get uh, intelligence, complete intelligence or complete, complete cognitive development. So these factors are also important with these stages. Uh, okay, Jean Piaget uh, theory have many practical application in many fields, but they have um, but we, if we, uh, if 
if we implement this theory in our education sector, hopefully we can create a more effective learning. So these are all the four stages, and I will dem practically demonstrate you one of the stage of Piaget theory. Um, I will do an experiment with a child whose age is four to five, and I will give him a conservative task, and we'll see that, uh, how he will respond to me. Salam Sadi. Sir? Mars. Suna Kaloi. Five years old. Good. Come class K. Nursery. Good. Come on. Ubaliki kamiya vikiti? 
Y hombre le dijo. Si hombre dio carencia a ti, digo tú. ¿Qué le quité? ¿O dice? Yo ya me dar con cana, ¿qué me pasa? ¿Qué me pasa? Okay. Okay. 